Today we are learning that division and fractions are actually the same thing. Let's look at this first question. If one cookie is shared between four people, how much of the cookie does each person get? Well, in this problem, let's imagine our cookie. To share this with four people, I could cut my cookie into four pieces. That way, each person will get one piece of the cookie. But how much is each one of these pieces? Well, if we imagine our full cookie, you can see that each of these pieces is one-fourth of the whole cookie. So to recap, when we had one cookie and we split it between four people, each person received one-fourth of a cookie. Now in this problem, we were splitting something up between four people. And splitting something up can be represented with division. So we have the equation that one cookie divided by four people gives us one-fourth of a cookie each. Pay attention to that pattern in numbers. Now we're going to look at a similar problem. If three cookies are shared between four people, how much of the cookie does each person get? So now the only difference is that we have three cookies instead of one. Well, we could go through a similar process. We'll start by cutting each of the cookies into four pieces. Then we'll give one piece from the first cookie to each person, one piece from the second cookie to each person, and one piece from the third cookie to each person. All right, so how much of a cookie does each person have? Well, they have this one-fourth, this one-fourth, and this one-fourth. So in all, each person receives three-fourths of a cookie. To recap, we had three cookies that we split between four people, and each person received three-fourths of a cookie. Remember that when we split something up, we can represent that with division. So three cookies divided by four people is three-fourths of a cookie each. Now we'll be able to find a pattern. When we had one cookie and we divided by four people, we had one over four of a cookie. When we had three cookies and we divided by four people, it was three over four of a cookie. So you can see this pattern if we had two cookies and we divided by five people, well, each person would just get two fifths of a cookie. Notice how in each of these, the number of cookies became the numerator and the number of people it was split between or divided by becomes the denominator. And it's not just cookies either. If we had four apples and split them between eight people, each person would receive four eighths of an apple. These division problems can be written directly as fractions because division and fractions are actually the same thing. Let's practice some of these together. I ordered two pizzas that were shared by six people. How much pizza did everyone get? Well, we can imagine our two pizzas and we'll cut each of them into six pieces. What fraction does each piece of the pizza represent? Each piece of pizza will represent one-sixth of the whole pizza. So we could give everybody one piece from the first pizza and one piece from the second pizza. How much pizza does each person get? Well, if we look at these two slices, each one is one-sixth. So in total, each person will receive two-sixths of a pizza. What equation can represent this problem correctly? We had two pizzas that were split between six people, and our answer was that each person received two-sixths of a pizza. Remember that when something is split between different groups, we can represent it with division. So this is the equation that could represent this problem. Here's another problem to practice with. I had a three foot long string. I cut it into eight pieces. How long is each piece? Well, what equation can represent this problem correctly? We have three feet of string being split into eight pieces, and we want to figure out what that equals. Well, when we split something up, we can represent that with division. Okay, so how long is each piece of string? Remember that we can represent division as a fraction. So three feet of string divided by eight pieces is three eighth feet per piece. Let's visualize this. 
if we had a string that was three feet long and we sliced it into eight pieces, each piece will be three eighth feet long. Now it's time for you to try one of these on your own. There are four donuts on a table. If five people share the donuts, how much will each person get? Well, if we imagine our four donuts, we have four donuts being split between five people. Remember that splitting something up can be represented with division. And the division sentence, four donuts divided by five people, gives us four fifths of a donut each. Now here's your last problem for this video. I have three pounds of sugar. I split it up evenly into four different bowls. How much sugar is in each bowl? In this problem, we have three pounds that's being split between four bowls. Well, this is a division sentence because splitting something up can be represented with division. So three pounds divided by four bowls will be three fourths of a pound in each bowl. Today we learned that division and fractions are actually the same thing.